here we are with uh, game three. Uh, we are 2-0 uh, so far, and uh, I think this deck is definitely uh, strong enough to 3-0, but 3-0ing uh, uh, is always uh, a, a little bit of a crapshoot because you end up against uh, very skilled players, like a Chaos 4578 is a player that I've played on multiple occasions, a uh, very skilled Soulforge player. Uh, if he has a good deck as well, uh, I uh, certainly could lose this one. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Uh, hmm, let me think for one second. Uh, have both uh, the Enrage and the uh, the Strength in Numbers here. Um, definitely not going to level a Heavy Artillery or a Strength in Numbers. Probably the, probably the smartest move is doing Light Shield Patrol and uh, Vault Technician. But I'm very happy to get an Enrage leveled early game. Uh, don't know what he's playing. Um, so the advantage of enraging the Light Shield Patrol is that it creates a 7 slash 8 creature with armor. And there's relatively few uh, answers that he can have to a 7-8 uh, a creature with armor. Um, although, um, I mean, something like a Corpse Crawler is, uh, is certainly problematic. Um, Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm very happy to have an Enrage leveled. Uh, we'll, we'll see if this costs me. But this is, it's a little bit of a risky play, um, playing the uh, the Light Shield Patrol Enrage. Uh, if he does something like a Corpse Crawler here, I will probably regret, live to regret my uh, decision. But there's a lot of possible hands that he could have where the 7-8 uh, the is, uh, um, is just a serious problem for him. Um, so... Uh, if you see here, he uh, uh, tossed out an alpha. Um, the alpha is not going to kill my light shield patrol. My light shield patrol is going to trade uh, favorably there, uh, take four damage. So I'm I'm happy with this. If he needs to spend an alpha and another card to take care of my light shield patrol, then I've uh, I've done well. Uh, I think here that my play is uh, toss out a nexus pilot and then uh, gem hide basher into his necro slime. Um, given that he has the Dark Shaper, uh, Gem Hide Basher is really nice to level against Dark Shaper. Also, Gem Hide Basher is really good to level against Necro Slime. Both Dark Shaper 2 and Necro Slime 2 can potentially be problems uh, if they aren't dealt with quickly. So I think I'm happy to level the Basher. And then um, I don't have a great answer to his Dark Shaper, so I'll just take another 8 damage. I'm not really worried about losing a little bit of life here. Uh, So he'll need to spend another card on my Light Shield Patrol, and there's a good chance that he doesn't have an answer for both the Light Shield Patrol and the Nexus Pilot. Um, yes, so he... excellent. So he spent... Um, he had to spend two cards on my Light Shield Patrol, uh, and he's going to have to spend two cards on the Nexus Pilot. Uh, let's see, so what do I want level? The fact that he has a Technosmith makes me a little bit weary. There's a, a possibility that this could go sour later in the game. Um, I've taken some damage early on. If my level 2 cards don't come through for me, I could be in deep trouble late game. So, um, let's see. Uh, I definitely level the Matrix Warden here. Um, definitely level the Matrix Warden and then level either the Lurker or the Vault Technician. Um, Hmm, I think uh, probably do Matrix Warden buffs itself. We'll trade with the Dark Shaper. And then um, I think Volt Technician. I'm I'm interested in doing, I mean, interested in doing as well as I can during player level two. And Volt Technician is generally a card that I'd rather draw during player level two. Uh, the 12-9, I think a 12-9 is really significantly better than a 13-6. And so um, I'll do the Vault Technician. Uh, the 8-4 is going to remain useful to me regardless of whether or not I draw it. I mean, I'm I'm never happy, unhappy to have an 8-4 in my hand. Huh, interesting. Uh, he tosses out Succubus and draws a card. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, let's see. So I definitely play the Infiltrator. Uh, definitely play the Infiltrator, and uh, um, I'm happy to see that he just spent his health lead. Um, he had got, I'd given him a little bit of a health lead early, and uh, now I'm uh, getting that right back. Uh, Infiltrator is a... Uh, Infiltrator is a great card. He's going to want a Succubus on my Technician. So I'm going to play Infiltrator opposite the Succubus. Uh, that way, uh, if he uses his Succubus to kill the Vault Technician, uh, he uh, then has to run his Succubus into the Infiltrator, which is unfavorable for him. And then the choice is Grove Matriarch versus Lightbringer Cleric. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably... Probably the Lightbringer Cleric. Um, I think I'd... Probably the Lightbringer Cleric. I could block the Grove Matriarch blocking the uh, the Metamind Adept, or I could play the uh, the Lightbringer Cleric into an empty lane. Um, hmm. uh, this is a tough call. Uh, both of these cards are good cards to have leveled up. Uh, I think I have a slight preference for leveling the Lightbringer Cleric, but that's that's a tough call. Um, I take the five damage from his uh, meta mind, but I'm going to get uh, part of that back. Yeah, so he goes and uh, kills uh, my creature with his succubus. Uh, hmm. Uh, so. Uh, I think I don't have a good play for the gem hide basher here. Uh, I think I'm very happy to see the Gem Hide Basher uh, stay unleveled. Uh, because the the 10 7 is likely to be useful uh, even later in the game. Um, I've got. Uh, I can use Grove Huntress as a body uh, to block and then play out the Infiltrator as a threat. Uh, I think that's what I want to do. I will play out the Infiltrator as a threat and then uh, Grove, uh, Grove Huntress blocks and. Uh, we'll buff the Infiltrator, uh, get through some more damage onto him. Uh, I'm taking 11 here, which is a little bit painful, but we're, uh, we're neck and neck in far of li as far as life totals, and uh, his creatures are going to be easy for me to answer. Uh, for example, Hydra. Uh, that was a good time for him to draw Metamind Adept, because uh, it probably allowed him to fish for an answer to my Infiltrator. Uh, likely. Uh, I'm going to have a tough decision on my turn. Uh, we'll see what he blocks the Infiltrator with. Um, because my board position is deteriorating, uh, because my board position is deteriorating, I probably want to play out two creatures. On the other hand, uh, enraging the infiltrator. Interesting. Uh, enraging the infiltrator is uh, is certainly a strong play. But if I uh, if I enrage the infiltrator, I take uh, basically twenty damage, uh, which is probably more than I want to take. Um, Yeah, I don't think that I can afford to take that, uh, um, hmm. Uh, that was a tough call. Um, yeah, that was a tough call whether or not to enrage the Infiltrator versus, uh, um, playing out two blockers. But uh, I think he's going to need to spend a full card on the Infiltrator. I don't think he has good ways to deal two damage in a side lane. Um, so the obvious play here is Nexus Pilot Light Shield Patrol. Um, definitely want to level the Light Shield Patrol because it's strong late game. Um, he's played Technosmith twice. I could be in trouble here in the late game. Um, my other option is to toss out my Matrix Warden and then 
uh, light shield patrol into a uh, into an empty lane. Um, uh, so basically, I have a choice of I can have a ten fourteen. Uh, I can have a ten fourteen in the middle with my Nexus pilot, or I can have a ten ten armored dude um, in lane one. Um, by playing out the uh, the Matrix Warden. I think I'd rather level the Matrix Warden than the Nexus Pilot. Uh, difference between Nexus Pilot 1 and 2, or 2 and 3 is not huge. Uh, he hasn't leveled his Nexus Pilot. Uh, so I'm going to uh, create the, uh, the Light Shield threat. Uh, and when I draw Enrage 2 here, uh, one option is to enrage to the light shield patrol, which is certainly something I consider in this circumstance. Um, yeah, ouch. Um, that's annoying. Uh, that actually, that worked really well for him. Um, I might be in trouble here. Um... Uh, I think War Charger is a good play, uh, just because we're about to go into a reshuffle. Uh, leveling the War Charger is strong, um, and then I'm going to enrage the Light Shield Patrol. I'm not so worried about his Dark Shaper. As soon as he reshuffles, uh, the level one cards in his deck are a lot less useful, and so if he wants to play out level one cards on his next turn um, to power his Dark Shaper. Uh, that's not really a problem for me, um, although I may live to regret that. Uh, and here's the uh, the gem hide basher, which will take out his uh, dark shaper somewhat for me. Interesting. Um, very interesting. So um, ma he managed to deal with my Light Shaper Patrol um, by playing underleveled cards, but uh, I think my board position is recovering a lot here. And then I believe I play a Deep Branch Prowler to take care of his Fellwalker. Um, okay, and this is this is reasonable. Um, have not drawn a level 3 yet. Uh, so I toss out my Nexus pilot into the middle lane, and uh, I'll Lightbringer opposite his uh, Steel Shaper, uh, taking 13, but I deal damage to him. So uh, this is becoming somewhat of a race. Uh, the fact that he has more leveled cards than I do is a problem in this race. But uh, this is a really nice draw for me. Um, it's going to be a close game. Uh, see if he gets a good answer to... Oh, ha ha ha. See if he gets a good answer to my Nexus pilot. Uh, so, um, one option, obviously, is to play uh, Matrix Warden and Light Shield Patrol. I think that's... Uh, Matrix Warden and Life Shield Patrol is strong, but his Necro Slime is a serious problem. The uh, uh, he leveled his Necro Slime, I guess, with a Techno Smith previously, and uh, once he activates the Necro Slime, it is a, a serious obstacle. So I need to play my Matrix Warden, buffing the Nexus Pilot to kill his uh, Necro Slime, and uh, that's a good Matrix Warden. And then for my other play. Um, I could toss out either Light Shield Patrol or Infiltrator. Um, I think we're at the point in the game where I'd... Hmm, this is a tough problem, tough question. Um, uh, so, really tempting to actually... Hmm, uh, so one thing you should know when you watch me draft is that I always err on the side of making the most aggressive possible plays. And uh, sometimes that comes back to bite me. 
uh, but in this situation, I don't think it's going to bite me. I'm going to make the aggressive play. I run combat. I ignore his Techno Smith and toss out my Infiltrator, uh, which gives me, uh, yeah, three qu Yes. <laughs> and with the Enrage 3 on the Infiltrator, that's probably going to be enough for game. Um, I just worry that if I use the Infiltrator to block his Techno Smith, that he could do something like a Hungering Strike or a Ghastly Touch to, uh, to kill the Infiltrator, and I really did not want to see that. So um, I enrage the Infiltrator, uh, toss out my Hydra, and that is a 3-0 draft, um, I believe. I think that's a 3-0 draft, is that... In any case, um, the, uh, the server, yes, the server now gives me the win. So uh, thank you so much. Um, so this is, uh, this is definitely the kind of Aloyan plus uh, Utera deck that I personally like to play um, with a really strong uh, rank two at the expense of a little bit weaker uh, late game. Uh, a lot of people like playing a, uh, a little bit slower variety of Utera plus um, Aloyan, a little bit... Uh, um, grindier uh, Utera Aloyan deck, but uh, uh, in any case, uh, this worked well for us, and uh, um, I uh, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it.